Hi Rupert friends, I was writing this thing and I wanted to show you how I select the best takes easily, quickly, and it's just a method that I recently came up with and it's been helping a lot selecting the best takes when you're doing take recording in Reaper. Let me show you how this sounds first though. Alright, cool. So this transition right here could be better and that's what we're gonna be working on as an attempt. So yeah, I do a lot of take recording and traditionally you will see this view sort of like this. This is the view you get by default, which is honestly difficult to use. I don't know how people use this. I never use this, but I prefer to work with just the take number and kind of just visually just go through all of them like this. But some people do like this view and they like to switch like this, which is fine. Um, but this is just what I like to use. So for that, I just press Control or Command L. So it's not take lanes. It's just one lane and you get the number in here. Now, how do I select the best take? This is what I used to do before. I will go to the track and solo it and press play and then go to the previous track and previous one and just go through the takes this way. Then I will unsolo it and go to the other track and do repeat and do the same until I find the best takes for each track. It's not bad, but could be better. So this is where these actions come into play. These are SWS actions from the SWS attention, um, which are really, really good. One of them is preview media item under mouse. This one will just, when you run it, I have it mapped to shift A. When you run it, you hear whatever is under your mouse. Very, very handy to quickly go through items or sound effects like that. Um, right now, you're hearing just the DI, which can be good if you want to hear if there's an issue with the DI. However, if you want to hear it through your amp tone, that's also possible. There's this one called Preview Take on your mouse through track, which when you run it, you will hear your takes through the track with your tone. Very handy, that, that this is gonna come into play when we do more splits and stuff like that. So now, what I do when I wanna go through the takes, I have going to the next take map to control E and going to the previous take map to control Q. So this way I go to the previous nets just holding control and Q and E like that. I always hold control and the same control is also for preview take under mouse through track. So always holding control, I go through the takes. And if I want to hear them, I just press control A and then go to the next one and go to the next one and go to the next one and go to and so forth. Um, then the same thing, if I want to go to the next one, I select here to go through the takes and then release and do the same thing, basically. Now, um, this is really cool because you can pretty much divide these three notes like this. Maybe you wanna be even more precise and select the best note every time. Now, I will go and hear this one. That's not a good one. That sounds good. Um, maybe let's go here. I kinda like this one. Or maybe this one. Yeah, let's leave this one in here, and then this one. Um, making sure... Okay, I like that one better. And in here... Those, those are good. Um, maybe... Okay, that's tighter. Yeah, um, that I basically went through three of these notes in each guitar. Just like that, so super fast and very convenient to just position my mouse where I want it. I'll hear what that sounds like through the guitar track. Nice. Then I can do my crossfades and stuff and the timing, fits the timing and do my usual guitar edits. Um, here I can use the ghost notes to position this uh, really well. So yeah, now I'm lining up with the, with the actual hit. So like this too. Move over here, maybe more crossfade, and this should be good. And now, maybe some more crossfade in there, but yeah, you get the idea. And uh, this one is messed up. 
Um, if you want to learn more about these editing techniques, I have a video on the main channel where I go over how I edit guitars and pretty much anything in Reaper uh, with advanced techniques. Um, but yeah, let me know if that works. Um, that helps. Maybe that was confusing. But these are basically the shortcuts. I hope that helps. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.